Hello everyone, welcome to Foreign Farming in the Philippines. So I just little did a, a little short video on that uh, rice milling machine there. I wanted to uh, do this one uh, for the dimwit. So just to explain to you guys a little bit here. So this is the National Highway. Alright. That way is the toffee about nine kilometers or you know six and a half seven miles is the port of the top that way and that way is Taliban about seven kilometers about five miles all right so no matter which way that the dimwit uh, ended up in Taliban he had to go down this road Either he landed in the port of Hatafi and came directly from Hatafi, or he landed in Tagbalaran. Still has to come down this road if he's going to go to Taliban. And he obviously went to Taliban because he made some uh, videos uh, in front of the municipal hall. This road right here goes to our place. So the dimwit had to pass on this road. And everybody knows where I live. I'm a fairly popular vlogger. Our farm is pinned on Google Maps even. It says MB Piggery. So there's no way to miss it. And I've done videos on this intersection before. Easy to find. So for all the bluff and bluster from the dimwit, Especially in that drunken video that he made saying he was going to, uh, to quote the dimwit, confront that prick. Well, he had ample opportunity because he went uh, basically right in front of my house. So, I'm going to zero out this uh, uh, odometer here. So that reads 0, 0.0. All right? Here we go. have some pretty heavy rains last night so there's some uh, water on the road back there so this is the route that we take every time that we come from the national highway I usually don't drive this fast on this road, but this is a, a smooth section right here, but it does get a bit rougher. One good thing about this road is you're never going to get stuck on it because of this, of what passes for road base here, but it is bumpy. Tim went with begging on his uh, YouTube channel for the plane ticket, the money for the plane ticket to come sort me out. And by golly, he found some dying man to send him money for a plane ticket. And he came all the way from Australia to the Philippines. Now, 
he went to any government agency that would let him into the door. And Filipinos are accommodating folk. Many of them did. Um, without exception, they all laughed at him on the way out. But um, they let him come in and, and uh, say his piece. But funnily enough, whatever transportation he had, he didn't take this little drive to come and see me. And so, here we are. That's our house. Pull into the shade here. And as you can see, that's exactly one kilometer. And it took me, what, all of five minutes to get here, if even that. So, as I understand it, in one of the Dimwit's recent videos, he was ranting and raving about wanting to do, uh, setting up some kind of a live stream. Uh, man on, one-on-one, uh, -on -one, man to man face-to-face. Um, wanting me to do a live stream with him. Saying that I had um, asked for it, that there were questions that I had wanted to ask of the dimwit. Um, let's be clear. I, I've never said that I wanted to ask him any questions. And uh, actually could care less. We are far past the point of talking. Um, if the dimwit wants to come here, and uh, get sorted out man to man face to face he's gonna have to take that little one kilometer draw drive and show up right here and we'll have any kind of face-to-face uh, -face interaction uh, that i deem necessary uh, he won't like it um, but uh, we're not going to do any live stream because the time for talking is over i got nothing to say uh, to jeffrey david mead and he has nothing coming from me but the back of my hand. Let's just make it clear. So, um, show up, Dimwit. Bring whatever help that you think you're going to need. Uh, and we'll get this sorted out. So, you're supposed to be here in February, I guess. I don't know. That's what I hear. So, let's see who the coward is. You want to you wanna handle this face-to-face? -face? February's just a short three months away. Come on by. And you can give me that palm thrust of death demonstration. Or you can try to anyway. I don't think it's going to quite work out the way that you anticipate. Um, let's see who the coward is. Talking time is over. Show up. Or everyone's going to know that you're just a little uh, drunken homo that you are. Uh, nothing but a keyboard warrior who talks big in Australia. And when he does get to the Philippines, just runs around like a little bitch. Uh, you don't have the, the balls to show up and confront me, really confront me face to face, uh, because you're a little bitch. Uh, you are indeed a coward. So, um, we'll see. We won't have long to wait. February's not that far off. Come on, Jeffy. You want to end this? You're tired of all the drama? I could really care less one way or another. But uh, the ball's in your court. I'm not going to chase you all around the Philippines. That's why I didn't run around when you were here. When you were at uh, uh, the Mindanao Midgets, uh, you were already gone from there by the time you posted any videos saying you were there. Same thing when you were here. When you were in Taliban, then you were, by the time you posted those videos, you were already in Cebu. And uh, when you're in Cebu, supposedly in the hospital, you were already on the flight back home before you posted any of those videos. So, no, nah, I'm not going to go chasing you around. I'm easy to find, Jeff. Like I say, pinned on Google Maps, I'm easy to find. So come on. Come on by. You want to end this? Uh, you won't like the ending, but come on. Come on by. We'll see who the coward is. I'm anxiously awaiting. Thank you, everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.